हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल एज यू नो बी पी एस सी असिस्टेंट आर्किटेक्ट एग्जाम इज गोइंग टू हैपन दिस मंथ एंड दिस वीडियो इज आल्सो रिलेटेड टू दैट वेयर वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व सम ऑफ द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन ऑन बिल्डिंग मटेरियल एंड कंस्ट्रक्शन दीज क्वेश्चन विल बी रिलेटेड टू द टाइप ऑफ मटेरियल देयर प्रॉपर्टी एप्लीकेशन एंड टेक्निक्स सो इफ यू आर न्यू टू द चैनल डोंट फर्गेट टू सब्सक्राइब माई नेम इज राहुल एंड यू आर वॉचिंग आर्किटेक्चर एंड प्लानिंग विद राहुल लेट स्टार्ट टू डेज फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन density of mud used in construction is so mud is the most common and oldest material used for building construction it is used for making mud blocks we can also use it as mortar and sometimes our entire house can be made of mud and mud which is commonly used for construction has a density of around 2000 kg per meter cube therefore the correct answer is option number c let's move to the next question what is the percentage of water absorbed by first class brick by its weight is so first class bricks are high quality bricks of uniform size shape and color they have sharp edges and free from cracks also they produce a clear ringing sound when struck together now coming back to the question so first class bricks are usually absorbed not more than 50 to 20% of water so the correct answer of this question is option number a not more than 20% this table shows some major type of bricks their uses composition their manufacturing process and what are the shape they usually gets so majorly there are three types of bricks first class bricks second class bricks and third class bricks they all have their different purpose but first class bricks are typically used for load bearing structures and for exposed walls let's move to the next question crushing strength of first class brick so crushing strength or compressive strength of first class brick is 105 kg per centimeter square therefore the correct answer is option number a and it is equivalent to 10 to 15 newton per millimeter square let's move to the next question type of glass used in windows to prevent heat loss is so let's understand the purpose of each glass so colored glass is used for decorative purpose frosted glass enhances the privacy processed glass are extremely strong glass and generally used in high wind load areas whereas insulating glass is used to keep inside temperature as it is means they are used to prevent heat loss Therefore the correct answer of this question is option number D insulating glass let's move to the next question the process of drying timber under more or less control condition is called so there are several stages and process for manufacturing a timber which starts from cutting the tree to transport to saw mills where it cuts into the specific sizes then comes the process of seasoning where the timbers are kept in a specific temperature then it goes to the various workshop to make various furniture so this is the complete process of manufacturing a timber now coming back to the question drying drying timber in a controlled temperature is known as seasoning therefore the correct answer is option number a seasoning let's move to the next question how much approximate time it takes to decompose paper so a paper is a highly recyclable material and it usually gets decompose in 10 to 30 days therefore the correct answer is option number c next question is which of the following type of wood flooring is softest wood and from the given option maple oak and pecan are the most common flooring woods in which maple and oaks are medium density woods whereas pecan is hardwood 
and pine is the softest wood which is the correct answer of this question let's move to the next question clc block and wall construction stand for so full form of clc block is cellular lightweight concrete therefore the correct answer of this question is option number a so this clc blocks are lightweight concrete block which have the bulk density of 750 to 950 kg per meter cube also it have a good compressive strength of around 25 kg per centimeter square to 50 kg per centimeter square and what are the advantages of clc blocks first property is thermal insulation and that's why it is used in cold climate areas second is its fire rating third is lower water absorption and fifth is its seismic resistant quality and along with ac block clc blocks is a excellent choice for building material both ac block and clc blocks have their own disadvantage and advantages while ac blocks are more widely used and have better availability whereas clc blocks are ideal for use in cold climate due to its excellent thermal insulation property and the size of clc block is 625 by 240 by 75 to 625 by 240 by 250 let's move to the next question which of the following is commonly used as reinforcement so the answer is mild steel which is commonly used as reinforcement therefore the correct answer is option number c and there are several reasons why mild steel is used as reinforcement first is its high ductility also it can deform without losing its toughness and also the young's modulus of elasticity of steel in both tension and compression therefore it gives higher strength to cost ratio Let's move to the next question. Marble used in flooring is so marble is a metamorphic rock therefore the correct answer is option number C and marble is formed when limestone gets metamorphosed. And what is the formation of metamorphic rock? So metamorphic rocks are formed by the transformation of igneous and sedimentary rocks. due to the effect of heat and pressure under the surface of earth let's move to the next question toothing is a construction technique used in toothing is associated with brick masonry and rcc construction so rcc construction is given in option therefore the correct answer of this question is option number b so this is the image of toothing in which alternate course of brick masonry is extended by one brick and what is the purpose of extending this brick so first it is used for confined masonry second it is left like this because sometimes there will be some delay in construction due to unavailability of material due to bad weather condition or any kind of situation of delay so this two thing helps in continue the work by allowing the proper joint between old wall with the new wall this is new wall and this is the old wall let's move to the next question which is the following material when manufactured emit the highest co2 so the correct answer of this question is option number d cement there are three major industry which emits the highest co2 during the manufacturing process number 1 is cement industry number 2 is steel industry and number 3 is automobile industry 
but cement production is responsible for a significant portion of global CO2 emission and measure to reduce these emissions are very limited despite of its high demand in the market. Let's move to the next question. The type of brick masonry in which the alternate cores of header and stretchers are distinctly seen. So let's see the images of all the given options. So in English bond, first course is of header and second course is of stretcher and it repeats on alternate basis. But Flemish bond is mix of stretcher and header in a single course. Whereas red trap bond is very similar to Flemish bond but there is some gap is left between the two bricks which help in cooling the house during day and it releases the heat during night which makes the temperature hotter during the night. Spanish bond is also known as header bond because in Spanish bond only header side is visible. So only English bond is made of alternate courses of header and stretcher. Therefore the correct answer of this question is option number A English bond. Let's move to the next question. The substance added to the plastic compound to improve the material property of the plastic. So to improve the plasticity of a material, plasticizers are added. It helps to improve the workability by reducing the setting time of cement. Therefore the correct answer of this question is option number A plasticizers. There is another material which used to improve the workability and that is retarder. Unlike the plasticizers, retarders are added to increase the setting time. So retarders are opposite to plasticizers. Let's move to the next question. The type of masonry in which each stone is made to look prominent is called. So in rustication masonry type, each stone looks prominent and visible. These two are the example of rustication stone masonry. Therefore the correct answer of this question is option D rustication. So friends that's all in this video. This is the second part on building construction and material. I hope this video was helpful for you and if you want more videos comment us down below. Also please subscribe this channel for more updates and more videos on architecture and planning. मिलेंगे आपसे अगले वीडियो में. Until then goodbye.